Don't you hate when you're in a hurry in the morning trying to get ready and your toothpaste just goes everywhere? Well, worry no more. Today we have for sale the brand new Toothpaste Brush 3000 TM. As you can see, it is equipped with a 3mm toothpaste holder that runs straight to the back of the toothbrush dispensing it straight into the bristles which are made of high quality carbon fiber as you can see with a light depression of the syringe the toothpaste comes perfectly out of the bristles saving you time money and energy buy the toothpaste brush 3000 tm today and your life will be better Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and hopefully you guys liked my infomercial there and learned that today we are going to be making our very own toothpaste dispensing toothbrush. Now for this project you don't need very many things, kind of self-explanatory, but you'll need some toothbrushes of course. I have a dollar store, got six for a dollar, uh, hot glue gun, drill bits that are approximately the same size as a hollow rubber hose just like that you'll need a syringe not a needle just a syringe like this and of course a drill to use your drill bits with first up here is to take your drill and we are going to be drilling a hole in the back of the head of the toothbrush just about centered right there That's what it should look like when it's done. As you can see, we have a nice clean hole drilled through there. Uh, brush it back and forth a few times like this to make sure all of the bristle pieces fall off. As you can see, there's quite a few down there on my table. For the next step, take your toothbrush with a hole in it and place your syringe just at the very end here. So the plunger sticks off of the end like this. And we are going to be affixing it with a bit of hot glue. So all we're going to do is just put a strip of it along the back of your toothbrush like this. If you don't have a hot glue gun, of course tape would work as well, but hot glue looks a lot cleaner and nicer. So stick it on just like that, and there you go. Next up, we are going to be measuring your piece of hose. So first, of course, put it on the end of your syringe. Mine works out very nicely, actually, where it goes on tight like that and you can't pull it off. And then without crimping it or uh, going like that, for example, make sure it runs along the edge of your toothbrush nicely like this. And you're going to want to probably cut it around where my fingernail is so it can be bent and put inside of the hole. So I'm going to cut it right about there. So there's what the hose looks like all cut up and put in there and to secure it all I'm going to do is put a little bit of hot glue just beside it there uh, sorry didn't see that but yeah I just put a bit of hot glue right there and since it's rubber hose and hot glue is obviously very hot I wouldn't apply it directly right away just more or less put it beside it and rub it in with your finger so it cools off a little bit and obviously don't do too much because if you actually use this, you don't want hot glue strands getting in your mouth and toothbrush and that would be gross. So just go like this. Now we're ready to test it out I think. So here we are in my washroom and the first step to using your awesome new toothbrush is to get your toothpaste and fill up the syringe. To do this, take off the plunger portion, put your toothpaste in, this will get quite messy. Squeeze and fill up the cylinder. It comes out the back a little bit, but just uh, try your best. Once that's full, as you can see, it'll start coming up the tube. But the easiest way to do this is to put your plunger in and do it manually. As you can see, there it is. And I uh, 
keep pushing until it's all the way up right before the tip of the toothbrush and you're ready to go so you guys have already seen this video clip but it is from the beginning of the video and here's our final product essentially it's uh, not a bad design pretty simple obviously uh, bigger syringe you can hold more toothpaste this may not be usable with gritty toothpaste as it could clog the barrel and it's really easy to use simple to do I don't know if it'll ever make it to production just because it's kind of pointless in a way but that's okay I enjoy it and I hope you have fun building it and uh, works pretty well if you ask me Ta -da. use up the entire container at once if you even want and still no spillage all three millimeters of toothpaste for your desire hey guys hope you enjoyed the video do me a favor and click that big red subscribe button right there and also check out some of my other videos by clicking the links on the screen